What's up guys? So I just did a reading um, on Micah first chap uh, chapter one and I just really wanted to come to you guys and tell you guys as Americans like we need to wake up. We really need to wake up. Um, in my last video I definitely talked about the dreams that I've had and all of that and I didn't. I, I clicked out of that video because I wanted to come in this video and just kind of reiterate everything and give it to you in a clean concise manner. Um, so I have had these weird and wild dreams for much of my life and I have never really thought of those dreams as being something that was a prophetic dream or anything along those those lines at all. Um, in fact I really thought that the those dreams were affliction more than anything um just because of how crazy and how wild they are and in physically how I feel in the dream and even when I wake up from the dream um and today I just I had a moment where this lady was talking about her dreams and, and um if you guys haven't already um I'm gonna get on here and give you all a her channel um on YouTube is I called try by the again, uh, try by fire ministry um anyway she was talking about a prophetic dream that she had. Her video is from um, January 7th. She says, um, or the title of it is, Prophetic Dream, Do Not Let the Enemy Intimidate You. Jesus is Coming Soon. My dream was was wild the other night, and it's weird because I've act, I actually had the same dream again in just a different, and I was at a different spot in the dream. And, and that's really weird to me because most of my dreams, these dreams that I've been having are all of the same place or similar places, but I don't recognize them, if that makes sense. Like, I know where I'm at, but they're different in a lot of ways than the dreams of than, than like what these places actually look like um so one of the dreams that I have is is like one of the dreams that that I had the dream that I had like three or four weeks ago it was probably more like two months ago and I'm just saying three or four weeks because that's like it was probably a couple months ago um I was in Ohio though and there was a ship that kind of flew I was looking over the valley and honestly I thought that the, this was at my, like the, the area that was next to me was like my grandmother's house, but what was in front of me was a valley. And I'm pretty sure now that I'm thinking about it, that valley was LA. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that that valley was LA. Anyway, there was this military ship that flew in and dropped bombs and left. And, and it was really weird because it was like nobody knew what was happening. Like nobody. It wasn't like something where um like we were all prepared and we knew what was going on it was like literally we were all having a normal day sitting outside talking and the next thing you know we see a ship with it, it, it or I don't even want to say a ship because it was a plane and I knew it was a plane but the way that it maneuvered it looked like something out of like one of the ships out of Avatar because it literally turned with no problem with ease and set up a spot and dropped bombs and flew off and the weird part is about it is is like you could hear what happened you could hear people screaming in the distance but we didn't really know like what had gone on we just you just see bombs dropping the next dream I had which was two days ago I believe um it was the same exact dream except I was in the city it wasn't like I was just like off on the hill watching it I was in the city and I remember that this big huge it, it look, literally looks like a military plane and, and it, like an army plane it had the army green color on it and it flew in and the sides of it had like these little I don't know what you would call it I don't know if it was like their the torpedo thing that that like turned but it turned downward so instead of like the things that you'll see on the planes that are going straight ahead it turned downward and shot out these bombs and it obviously the city blew up and I remember seeing like like just a flush of air and debris I don't remember the rest of the dream up until the point that we are in the car and we're on the highway and I remember encouraging everybody like we got to get out of here we got to get out of here we got to go we got to go like we can't stay here we got to get in the car and we got to find a way but we can't take the highway and I remember thinking that like we can't take the highway because if we take the highway other people are going to be on the highway everybody's going to be trying to get out the weird part about that is I saw somebody from high school who threw a basketball at my car, which was really weird. He threw a basketball at the car and the basketball didn't like nothing happened or anything like that. But I, I don't know if that was like encouragement to focus on the road and focus that there was nobody else on the road. We were the only ones. There wasn't any other cars. There wasn't anybody else driving. It felt like there was somebody, there were other people in the car with me, but I, it also felt like there might've been like a car or two behind us. But as far as like being in front of, there was nobody on the road. And we, we were on the highway at this point which is just weird because I remember specifically saying don't get on the highway and we got on the highway and there was nobody on the road 
Um, I don't know what all of this means. I really don't. I just know that then after that, today when I watched um, Tried by Fire Ministry, when I watched her video, I just really felt like I needed confirmation from the Lord on whether or not to share this dream. And I opened my Bible first to First Chronicles. I couldn't tell you. I'm not sure what chapter I was in. I know that it, in that chapter, it's laying out all the generations that came to help David. And, and it's talking about all the warriors and the mighty warriors and how the weakest of them could take on a, a on 100 and, and the strongest of them could take on a 1,000. And it, it just, I felt like, you know, maybe I need some more, more confirmation and, and more. And it talked about warriors being archers and, and all of this. And it's really, really weird because I felt like the Lord has really told me that like, he, he gave me a plot for a script. And it's really weird because in that script, I'm talking about the last people who are here and the last people who are here being warriors because there's no other, I mean, it's just weird that all of this is going down. Anyway, I then turned to Micah and I read Micah chapter one, which is in the last video. Go check out the last video because in the last video I talk about, I, I read out uh, Micah chapter one for the most part and, and on it. And I really wanna come to say to you guys that I, and I truly believe that in that dream, the reason God gave me that dream twice was one, to confirm that it was a dream of him, but two, to also show me that there are going to be people who are in different places when this happens and their viewpoint on how and what's going on is going to be different, but nobody is going to know what's actually going on. Um, another thing that I want to bring up is that, and, and if you look at the last video, you can see my face kind of, you probably see like my eyebrow go up or something. Um, because it's talking about, the Lord is talking about attacking the capital city of Samaria and it's really, really, really weird that I had that dream two nights ago, two days ago, I should say. And that is the same exact time that people stormed into the Capitol building. Like, this is really weird to me that this is what's going on. And it talk in, in, in Micah, first Micah, or Micah chapter one, it talks about all the things that are going on in the world. Like, all the things that are going on, or not in the world, but in Jerusalem and what, what has been corrupted in Jerusalem and Judah. Like, what is, where the corruption is, what the corruption is from. And, 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 and then the word goes on to say that, that it, uh, it's because of Samaria. And I just want to encourage everyone to understand as Americans, we are literally living in a country and we are praising a government praising a government that openly has the tower of babylon hanging up in our nation's capital this nation is going to fall whether we want it to or not this nation is going to fall this is going to collapse we have not followed god we have not allowed his holy spirit to come into our legislation and our law the way we should have we have screwed up big time and god is going to come for this nation we need to understand that us as the church need to be girded up we need to be prepared for what's about to happen we need to understand that the lord has plans and his plans are mighty and great and we need to take heed to his word take heed to his word and what he's trying to tell us in his word he is warning us of what's to come he is showing us what's to come and he has been showing us this for a really long time and for those of you who have been and talking about getting out and doing all that and getting property and land do it get out and do it do it gird up places for other believers to stay because when this stuff really does hit the fan it's going to be crazy it's going to be gnarly and god is giving us the chance to preach and tell people about it and i'm honestly not sure if we as the church are going to see this we may not be here but whoever else is not saved i need you guys to hear this message and understand what's about to happen this is a lot bigger than Biden and Trump. This is way bigger than Biden and Trump. They are just little minuscule ants in comparison to what trouble and tribulation is about to hit this country. Please, please, please gird up your households in the Holy Bible. Please know the Lord. Please take the time out of your day to get to know him. Even if that means reading Revelations for two minutes, take the chance to get to know him and at least give him the opportunity to save you. I am begging you to please do this. Please go read to our Bible. Please get into the word. Please pray to God. Please know that Jesus has you. You just need to surrender to him. And it is simple, as simple as having faith as a mustard seed. We need to pay attention to what the Lord is calling us to. We need to pay attention to what he is telling us is about to happen. Take heed to his word. I love y'all. Please stay prayed up. Please stay focused. Please understand that the Lord has something greater in mind and we need to be on board with him. We need to have him at the forefront of our minds in all that we do. I love y'all. Stay blessed and please stay prayed up.